Okay, so here we are a few weeks later when the beer has been bottle conditioned for a while uh, and uh, the color was as expected, pretty dark, uh, having about 8% uh, black malt and chocolate malt all together. Um, and there's quite some foam build up here as well. So as I said, the color, yeah, it's um, as dark as possible, I guess. Um, and let's see how the taste is like. And to my help here, I have my test panel. Um, hmm. What what do you sense drinking it? It has a very strong uh, malty flavor with mm -hmm. the chocolate. Um, How do you feel about the smoke character? Do you do you have a, a balanced smoke character, or is it overwhelming somehow? I, I wouldn't say that it's overwhelming at all. Uh, quite well balanced, uh, uh, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. I think for me it's a little bit like soft mm -hmm. chocolate, a little bit, um, yeah, chocolate, cola, what is that? A caramel. Caramel, caramel. Uh, a little bit mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a 4% uh, chocolate malt there, so that's a pretty accurate uh, description of it. But yeah, ending up with a pretty smooth smoke flavor in the background with having 20% of the Gotlandic smoke malt, I would say that it's a pretty um, well-balanced beer uh, and I'm happy that I didn't go with a, with a bigger percentage of it as that would have been a bit too overwhelming with the smokiness part. Any last comments? A small, uh, taste panel? Cheers. Cheers.